thing about the lake is that it is family. We've all lived along the lake for a long time. My grandfather Samuel Thompson was a fisherman here and he married my grandmother Emily Barber and her family were fishermen as well. Fishing families worked hard and they played hard. My father, Wilfred, and Uncle Stan and Tom Dennis, Eric Parks, were the comedy sailing crew on the lake. Dad could play the piano in the dance band and Uncle Stan played violin and accordion, mouth organ, whatever. There'd be boating parties. People used to go over to Windang for picnics and Gooseby Island. There was a lot of sport. Dad was a great cricketer as well. He played for the Illawarra against Southern Highlands and bowled Don Bradman first ball. They played tennis, they'd go to Katoomba, holidays. But there was work to do as well. My grandma, everyone called her Auntie M, sent for Auntie M if there was anything to do with health or if there was babies to be born at any time. Well, she was a midwife. By the time the doctor came from Wollongong, Auntie Emma had fixed everything up and the baby was born and she even pulled teeth at different times. My father was in the First World War and the Second World War. When he came back from the First War, they gave him a, a little fish attached to it, a gold chain and a medal. The medal said, duty bravely done, Private W. Thompson was given by the residents of Berkeley District on his return from the Great War. He was lucky to get back. Five of the six people in his cabin on the Boona, that's the troop ship, they died of influenza. That was a pneumonic flu that went around. He was the only one to survive. Then he went to the Second World War as well. My mother actually met Dad at a dance, I think. During Dad's courting days, he used to pick Mum up in the, in the fishing boat and go down Duck Creek, and her name was Kathleen. And he, as he was going up the Duck Creek, he used to sing, I'll take you home again, Kathleen. <laughs> Mum was always there when we, we needed help. When we were down, in, uh, when there wasn't many prawns or things were a bit slack, She'd say, or oh, times will get better, don't worry. The men would come back from the lake at maybe midnight. Sometimes we'd work through to daylight, and then the prawns had to be cooked, cooled on trays, hosed down, and then salted, and cooled more, and then weighed and put into boxes. The first time I went on the lake with my dad fishing, who uh, between Homeshore, that's Berkeley, and Native Dog Hill, at Mount Warrigal today, and uh, halfway up the lake, we approached this patch of mullet, and 12 of them jumped into the boat. So this seemed like an omen that this was what I was going to do for the rest of my life, and I have. I caught my wife June when she was 19. She wasn't from a fishing family. I married my lovely Scottish girl. She's beautiful. She became part of our extended family connected by the lake.